and welcome back. Coming up on 647, here's your look at weather and traffic on the 7s for your Tuesday. Well, today no longer under an ABC 7 first alert, looking at much calmer weather. We do have some light rain chances in our forecast and still looking chilly today, but a warm up is potentially very soon. I want to take you to a live look at our Doppler radar. Of course, we do have some rain chances in our forecast today, but it looks like we're getting some light moisture pushing through the Clint area and Montana Vista at the moment. Now, overall, not looking at strong rain chances, zooming out a little towards Las Cruces, not looking at much moisture in the area. Overall today, we're anticipating again those light rain chances with the strongest potential for some rain to be about late afternoon to early evening hours. Now here's a look at our future track short term model and this model indicates we're going to continue to see cloud coverage through the next few hours, but about 1 p.m. This model is suggesting that we could see some moisture start to build in Las Cruces into the two o'clock hour and then into El Paso at the three o'clock hour. Now we're not looking at any widespread rain event out of today, but the possibility is there for a pop up isolated shower or two throughout again the early evening hours and you can see about 5 p.m. that moisture exits the El Paso area and continues to exit through Las Cruces. Now overall after that we will start to see the clouds kind of dissipate throughout the region looking at clear skies for your Tuesday evening and into your early Wednesday morning. Now today we are also looking at chilly temperatures. Of course we had a cold front that moved through yesterday. It brought stronger winds, stronger rain and of course the chilly temperatures. Now we're still kind of recovering from that. So for that reason, we're still a little chilly today, looking at 65 for our expected high in El Paso and Las Cruces. We're expecting similar temperatures of about 64 for our expected high. Now throughout the region, we're going to continue to see temperatures in the mid to upper 60s for El Paso County. Looking at 64 for Fabin, 67 Clint and Socorro, 66 for Anthony and for Doniana County. Looking at 65 for Santa Teresa and 65 for Radium Springs. Now, if you are headed out tonight to the El Paso Chihuahuas, of course, it is going to be a little chillier in the evening, about 6 o'clock, looking at 61 degrees, reaching about 51 by 9 p.m. So definitely a little chillier. No, we're not dealing with strong winds. We're looking at a breeze at most, but overall, we still will feel chilly again as a result of the cooler temperatures. Now, models indicate that the rain should move out by then, but if it doesn't, again, you might want to carry that jacket with you to prepare yourself for the evening time. Overall today, looking at a high of about 65, a warm up begins tomorrow with potential to reach 80 by your Thursday and your Friday. Michael.